All right guys, thanks for tuning into this car tech video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the fault in communication error message that you may be getting on one of your iCarSoft first generation scan tools. The first generation scan tool looks like this. Um, don't confuse it with a scan tool which looks like this. Even though this is a version 1.0, it's classed as a second generation scan tool. So um, I'll be doing a video of the same nature for these type of tools but if your tool looks like this this is what you need to follow so basically um, there are two reasons why you might get a fault in communication with ECU and I'll talk you through these now first of all we're in a Porsche Cayenne but that's irrelevant really because you know you can get these faults in any cars um, so I'm just gonna go through the process and select our vehicle first of all going to manually select the system so let's say for example first of all I'm gonna go down and select a system which I know is not installed into this vehicle um, and it's this one here chronometer so I know that this car doesn't have a chronometer because a chronometer normally sits right there and it's the clock which um, it's classed like a sport, it's called a sport chrono clock, but also a chronometer. It's like, it's like a clock there. Um, I know the car doesn't have it installed, so what I'm gonna do is click on OK to try and diagnose that fault. What's happening is the system is looking for that system, it can't find it, so it's giving me a fault in communication with vehicle ECU, please confirm. So that's the type of fault I'm talking about. If you're getting that fault, it could be that the exact situation like I'm in right now uh, in which it doesn't have it installed so you know there's nothing you can do about that if the car doesn't have it installed then obviously the tool can't communicate with that system that's the first scenario um, the second scenario so what I, what I guess I'm saying is don't assume there's a fault with the actual tool if for example that that is exactly what's happening now the second situation is if say for example there is a the, that system is installed into the vehicle and you're getting it so um, we've got a we've got an ABS fault on this car we're waiting for a new sensor to arrive but as you can see here the ABS system on this car is the PSM so we know the PSM or the ABS system is installed into this car and what we're gonna do here is go in and click on read DTCs if at this stage you were getting the fault in communication with ECU then yes you would have a problem that basically means that the tool for some reason is not working correctly and is not connecting up with that particular system in the vehicle so there's uh, there's two ways to do this two ways to get around this if you are getting the fault um, I'll show you the fault actually I'll just put it back on screen so there's two ways to do it um, what, what I'd recommend you do is click the link below this video because in the link below this video it will take you to a page where you can update this tool and it will put the latest software on your iCarSoft scan tool that's really what you need to do first of all that's your first step and that is to update the software because you might be running an older version of software so update the software and as I say the link below this video in the description will take you to a place exactly where you can do that the second thing is if you've already updated your scan tool and you're still getting the, the this message and um, you know the system is installed then also in the link below the video I'm going to put an email address so in the description there'll be a link in that in that link click that link there'll be an email address to one of the top iCarSoft engineers at iCarSoft what they can do is they can take all of your vehicle details your VIN numbers uh, send them pictures of exactly what's happening and then they will develop the software and once the software is developed you can publish an update to your tool and it should start working again and it should then give you you know the ability to go in and just sort of read some faults um, this has got a few fault this has got a few old faults in this one but that in essence is how to get around the fault in communication with vehicle ACU message that you'll be getting on screen um, it's all everything is all in the link below this video so so in the description click the link that will take it to where you can do the update first of all and then secondly it will give you the email address of the top iCarSoft engineer and they should be able to develop the software for you thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps